Yeah. Indeed. Alright, where we left off. Right where we left off. Trying to turn the brightness up a little bit. Hmm. Where did I find that at? Oh, for it. Never mind. I lied. Not turning the brightness up. This one looks pretty tough. Oh, for it. Yes, I am. right where are we going over here ready steady Proton X Bussy. Let's turn up the turn up nothing. What am I talking about? GMO. Time to fight. Wait, I gotta fight. Oh, my God. Stop it. What, what in the world? Okay. Let's go for the stinger. Getting destroyed over here. What? Letter break.
blood is getting destroyed. I got the extreme angle here. Okay. I don't want you to die. He is at one health. Great. Fighting over. Level up. Ride into melee weapons. And then probably repair. Maybe some survival. Leveled up again. Very cool. Any new ones? Yes. Hmm. Probably get broad daylight, maybe. One in the strength, that sounds sweet. Right away. Oh, I could have had the drones help me. Let's go up here. My limbs are still broken. How am I supposed to get in? Over here? Blood is freaking out. Okay, over here. I see. Cool. Is that Mobius? Oh, well, Mobius is about to get the... Oh, what is it? Proton Axe Treatment. Indeed. It's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left 
Yeah, right, FOV Coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Whoa, did I leave that on? <laughs> I thought I'd powered it down. Was wondering what was causing the power outages. Intriguing. I've never been killed before. Although, after that time I got that phlegmy discharge in my biogel, <laughs> <laughs> I wished I had been. Well, if there's going to be killing, I defer to your expertise in this matter. How should we begin? Engineering viruses? Cancerotic beams? Atomics? Electrocutioning? Or should I summon my minions? Yes, my minions. Oh, now you've done it. I feel a twinge of regret over that little mistake I left on. Minions, destroy this intruder. Hmm. Or perhaps make it more dramatic. Minions, to me! <laughs> Mobius. Mobius. Bam. Knocked out. Mobius is dead. What's that all? And so I die. Easy. Level up again. I don't know what perks I got on, but I level up quick. Mobius is dead. Murdered. Destroyed. Dr. Mobius Glove. Dr. Mobius? Ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. 
But have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? So sad. Hear me telling you that charging a knifekin with a pen knife is a bad idea. You listen. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much I got to get my brain back? Constantly looking for places to urinate. It's quite a lot, I can tell you. Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. I suppose you're That's right. right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? Indeed, quite the conundrum. How do you suppose we resolve it? I suppose there might be some advantage to that. Yes. I know. There's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. Well, I suppose you've convinced me well enough. I'll rejoin your body if that's your final decision. Oh, it is. Unfortunately, before we get to that stage of the proceedings, we have a problem. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. And you believe them? Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming what? that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. Well, I suppose I do miss those endorphin rushes when we save the day. All right. What's the plan? Right. Look out, Think Tank. This brain is coming out of its jar. For sure. Now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the Think Tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sync's auto dock can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. What is that noise? Jesus. Ouch. All the bottle caps. Alright. Do you require some additional services? For sure. Ugh. Do you require some addition? For sure.
heartless. You require some addition. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Eight thousand caps. What am I doing wrong here? Concerned about the state of your mind, are you? Well, such things ain't my specialty, but I'm happy to tender my opinion as to your mental health. I should make you aware that the benefits of such a procedure are exclusive. That is, this only works once. Now, are you sure this is what you want? All right, just try to relax. This won't hurt, unless your sense of self is especially vulnerable. <laughs> Oh. How do I go back? I don't want to do this. Um... See that one. I think I did skilled last time too. You require some additional... Rightly so, I Give me your think. services. Right, then. Services. Fire up the old interface for you. I'm missing something there. Oh, please, please tell me you brought me some coffee cups. I did. Oh, sweet, sweet fulfillment. I'll break these down for you just as fast as I can. Fifteen. Oh, I'm ready. What's the other marker for? I don't want my original spine. The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Is Dr. Mobius being denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped? I recommend watching your tone with me, Lobotomite. Nah. Now, your brain. Hand it over, or we'll extract it again. And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain, we have the technology. All you must do is surrender. With it, we can finally leave this place. I cannot tell you how boring this place gets, chopping up the landscape nah. and everything in it. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. About this Mojave place. A fertile testing ground for our experiments. That is the most insane thing I've ever heard. There's no way Mobius would condescend to step inside you. Besides, there's no way such a thing could be accomplished. It's impossible. <laughs> you speak the truth, and the decibel variation in your voice. It is Mobius. How dare you breach the sink tank? And what do you want here? Should I kill him? <laughs> A 
fight? I... I've never been in a fight. What... Uh, what... What... What do I... Ah, colleagues! Think tank! Alert! Alert! We are under attack! Oh, freak! You destroyed this fist, it's pretty good. Guys, this melee is evil. Evil. Easy. But who's going to put my brain in? The doctor thing? As it had been in the years before the Great or not. War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discoveries safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The courier had scoured much of the Big Empty, Although secrets still remained in the crater's depths. Perhaps that was for the best, however. Curiosity, while sometimes rewarded for its efforts, often proves to be equally dangerous. The Forbidden Zone continued to be, true to its name, forbidden. No more robo-scorpions were sighted in its canyons. Big Mountain Dang became it. even emptier. Devoid of Dr. Mobius's proclamations forecasting the destruction of anything that dared possess sentience. Still, it is said he lived on in the equations inscribed on the floor and walls of the Forbidden Zone Dome. A cobweb tracery of symbols that told of a thousand brilliant thoughts, now lost to time. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively. Got one more DLC to do. The sink Lonesome Road, I think is what it's called. Discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden. So that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite oh. refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. The book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it I was didn't a help you at all. Paperclip. And the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. The thing continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the magnetohydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. The toaster continued its psychotic spree, reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sink personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. Oh. Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. Muggy did his best. Oh, man. Coffee cups. Although in his quest, he accidentally...
accidentally trapped himself in Haig's village. It might have been the end for poor Muggy. Except he found it peaceful there, tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole for having created Muggy in the first place. Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there mm. in blind revenge for serving Dr. O. Blind die old Jefferson. Eventually this is no sound. Silence. It only made him more filled with the blues than before. It was rumored by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Ooh. Although he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Autodoc, always gentle and methodical, kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The Autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre were bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses, releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier made his way through the X-8 facility, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. They eventually created new cyber dogs to root out commie traitors from the wasteland. Traitors like Betsy Bright, Richie Marcus. Richie Marcus. Although they couldn't seem to find any commies. So no commies? On themselves, howling sonic barks that echoed miles <laughs> across the landscape. The infiltration program in X-13 continued to scan for the subject and the stealth suit prototype long after the test was over. Frustrated and unable to find its lost technology, X-13 expanded its network of laser tripwires, sensors, and robo-brains out across Big Mountain. This glittering blue light beam forest cleanly bisected anything that entered its depths, slicing them into small segmented parts for easy disposal. Thank you. Yeah. Victoria, organs intact, continued onwards, a little less heavy of step, but with all the organs in the right places, as they should be. After all, brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts, and the courier's brain was more clever than most. The think tank big brain filled with the lobotomized robotical frames of the doctors now served as a graveyard. The monitors had recorded the battle in its entirety, including the think tank's final shrill, terrified screams, whimpers, and pleas for mercy. They broadcast these humiliating last moments as a warning to anyone approaching the perimeter that other smarty pants were not welcome. The courier was the inheritor of the big empty, and there was room for only one will in the halls of the think tank dome there is an expression in the wasteland old world blues it refers to those so obsessed with the past they can't see the present much less the future for what it is they stare into the what was eyes like pilot lights guttering and spent as the realities of their world continue on around them science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times Ooh. following the second battle it's taking of forever. the dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. What? Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. Ooh. With the courier at the helm, science began. Keep yawning. I'm tired, I guess. There was old world blues, and new world hope, and hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more, 
but the stories in the big empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the transportal ponder, the courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the big empty one by one. The sink sat mm. vigilant, waiting for its master to return. Any time? Shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one the courier had to walk alone. The lonesome road. So you could do these in different orders and it will just... Big brained. Huzzah! Level up. Dang, a lot of my stuff isn't... You broad daylight. I like that one last time. Alright. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? <laughs> There's still more to do? Come on. Far away. How do I get out of here? What? What? How do I get out of here? There's gotta be a way out of here. up here ah nothing very cool The heck do I get out of here? I mean, I guess I could repair my armor. I didn't realize that cost so much. Load that back. How do I get out of here? Hmm. 
Oops. How do I get out of here? This is where I came from. Maybe this is it? Um, something like that? No, it's just... Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm lost. I don't know how to get here. Uh -oh. You mean, uh oh. What the heck is this? What the heck am I holding? Transportal under. And I'm not in combat. That's it. That's it. There was a gun that I just had to open up. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Dr. Mobius Glove. No back. Sell stuff to this guy real quick. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Let's see, he's got thirteen hundred caps. Get rid of the layer, I don't really like it. Actually, keep it. Get rid of some other stuff. What? Yeah. some stuff up that that Put this, uh, I've got a couple of them, don't I? 
Sarah Madre armor. That'll work. To the last DLC. That's all. Easy. Oh, here we go. What is this DLC? The Lonesome Road? Hold on. Lonesome Road. I'm going to change the Do that. Yeah, I can barely breathe. Just like All right. Let's continue on. Big drop off. All right. Oville Ballistic Defense Station. You can go home, courier. On some road. Fire's key. What we got pre war money. Of course. Why wouldn't I break 80%? I have opened it. Ralphie, fly far, fly fast. What? Okay. 
Okay. Experiment log three six nine two four eight slash B. I bought DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. We've boosted signal gain and enlarged the overflow buffer system. That should ensure 100% connectivity and control. Eddie, whenever you're ready. Yes, success. <clears throat> um, reporting full success on 369248 slash. What? Able to interface with and override the test panel in under three seconds. Great job, team. Now let's start on the proposal for the full rollout. Great. Okay. Let's go. Bro, just a walking workbench. Flying workbench. Thought I restored the power. Oh, okay. That, okay, that happens? Okay. I didn't realize you could mess it up like that. Council. All right. Uh, give me the 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 go to man. Give me the stuff. Appears. Members. Member berry. I think so. This room's like. I'm not a big fan of this sideways stuff. Feels really weird. On the old eyeballs. Okay. Stuff is happening. Door. Ammo. Interesting. What is down here? Bunch of nothing. Up we go. Oh. Dr. Grant? What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, Whitley, there you are. Orders from Colonel Autumn. He feels the iBot DuraFrame project isn't advancing quickly enough. I'm too. You didn't even disengage his damage avoidance protocols. You're hurting him. 
Don't be ridiculous. It's just a machine. See here. I've already increased the navigation system's efficiency by 65%. Get the hell out of here! Fine, Whitley. It's your lab. <laughs> At least until I tell the Colonel about this. Oh. oh, angry. <laughs> Got some enemies to deal with. Oh, frick. Easy. Plasma Defender. Guess we have to go this way. This way, this way. Right, we got some dead people. Guy has no skin left. Bowie knife. Destroyed. Alright. Pulse grenade. CDE to unlock the mainframe. Is the arc welder a weapon? Oh, it is. I don't think I'm ever going to use this. You don't even do this for me. Nice. What is happening? That's all. You're dead. And look all the way down here.
Don't mind if I do. Yeah. For now, eyes alert. Watch the streets below. There's still life in the divide. Threats other than the storms and wind. New inhabitants. These new inhabitants, not natives, most of them, came with a duty, purpose, ready to kill each other. The divide was stronger. Left marks on them too. Not bear, not bull. Now, radiations mark them, made them equal in history's eyes. As vicious as the storms are, these shadows of Legion, of NCR, silhouettes of things to come. Hmm. In the divide, they rest. If you saw their corpses, you saw mercy, got what they deserved, coming to the divide. The bear and bull, NCR Legion, came in waves before and after, right into the invisible fires. The wind ground, collapsing beneath them. Once under different flags, now they are equal in their hatred of the trespassers, you and I. Even That's what I thought. You burned them from within. The winds of the divide tore their skin, exposed them, screaming to the sky. And just as the divide tears at them, so they tear at each other. For sport, like some tribal scarification. Falling back to their history, maybe. No matter what they suffer, the radiation, fire of the divide, sustains them, makes them stronger. There's truth in your words. In what I've seen of their tactics, movements, recovery. Those wounds, they couldn't live otherwise. The divide winds have torn the skin from many of them. Maybe the radiation is the only thing keeping them walking. They camp near silos, warheads. No way to cleanse the radiation. Makes them hard to kill there. Have to draw them out. America's 
sleep sad of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes and storms. You'll need to find your own path. Ah. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. You're resourceful. That machine and robot with you can help you find the warheads you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead is below. The tools are there. The rest, up to you. The divide will send its worst against you. All right. It may break you. We'll see if you're stronger. Road gets rougher from here. Courier left marks for you. Colors will tell the way if you're smart. They'll lead you to your home one more time. Lead to the ending of it. Maybe remind you why you wander. Boom. Level up. Oh, I need some rat away. Jesus. Ah, Stimpex. Yeah, my way. These enemies look like bad guys dealt with. Ah, ah, I'm looting. Leave me alone. Oh, I made that jump. Tri-beam laser rifle. I'll hold on to that. Because I've got only a thousand freaking energy ammo. I can use it. I got 700, I lied. Is a flare gun? Right. See if I can't chuck this bad boy all the way over there. I mean, I hit him. I gotta stop shooting the frickin'. I got 3,000. Oh, 
You're my best friend forever. I know. I'm the best. Bad guys dealt with. Bro has a freaking rocket launcher. Bro's taking so much shots to the head. Bad guys dealt with. Carry a rocket launcher around. Marksman Carbine. I think I've already had one of those. Time to fight. Out the old. Oh, that would be a good one. Right there. Oh no, I wonder what happens. Injecting stim pack. Apparently it does nothing. Probably only the robots. Okay, what is happening right now? Just started moving by by myself. What is hitting me? <laughs> the way I felt. <laughs> Anti-material rifle? Can't say I've seen that before. Interesting. This place is crazy detailed. Oh, big brain.
How do you get over there? Let's just follow the road, I guess. That would make sense. Sit down. <laughs> Shoot me because I said that? Okay. Of course I had to do that. Some might say I'm special. Time to fight. Material rifle. I forgot to look at that. Stealth suit's about to die. Gonna make that explode with a detonator. That's too easy. I did not die by that. Kind of cringe. Look at this gun. All right, I have to get off. Got some stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> 